Hey, what's up guys, Joker here. Today we got a couple of GPU news stories from Nvidia as well as AMD, so let's not waste any time and get fired right into it. Starting off with Nvidia over on VR World, they are reporting that just a few days ago, they actually got hands on with the new Pascal based Titan boards, which they are expecting to be announced later on in August at Gamescom, which is going on from the 17th until the 21st. Other information VR World was able to provide is that the rear I.O. is similar to the 1080 and 1070 with three DisplayPort and one HDMI connector with the one major difference being that it did not have a DVI connector. So kind of interesting that NVIDIA would decide uh, to leave that off if these rumors are proving true on the Titan P graphics card as they are calling it. They're calling it the Titan P. Now there wasn't really any, any much mention of a 1080 Ti here, but they did say that they are expecting to see a 16 gigabyte and a 12 12 gigabyte version of this GPU and that would say to me that it's probably going to be a 1080 Ti at the lower end on the 12 gigabyte card and that's that's HBM2 by the way that's 16 gigabytes and 12 gigabytes of HBM2 respectively for the Titan P or the 1080 Ti. They also did note that the card was 12 inches or 30 centimeters in length, just like previous Titan cards. So it looks like we're getting the return of the full length PCB here. And also that they saw support for either a dual eight pin or an eight pin and six pin connector, which would give us either a 375 watt or 300 watt TDP, depending on what Nvidia decides to go with on the final production runs, or maybe we might just see one for the Titan and then one for the 1080 Ti a little bit differently. They've also said in here that the cards will be targeting 50% higher than GTX 1080 performance, which would be absolutely massive. And it really leaves me wondering why there would even be much need for a GTX 1080. Uh, once these cards do come out, it would kind of be, be basically put me in the bracket of saying, well, I can basically either get a 1070 for under $400, or if I'm going to spend six, $700, I may as well just get a 1080 Ti at that point. If it's a, you know, hundred under hundred dollars more, if I'm already spending $700 on a graphics card, I'm probably willing to spend 800 if that's what they end up up launching for. I'm just, I'm just predicting here. Uh, you know, for all we know, we might see the 1080 get a price drop really, really quick. Uh, that kind, that would kind of surprise me. Um, but you know, with these cards having 12 gigabyte and 16 gigabytes of HBM2, based on these rumors, I, I don't know if we could see the Titan go for more than a thousand dollars. Let me know what you think about that down in the comments below. Also, lastly, in here, they said that something like the high-end Extreme Edition processors from Intel may not even be able to handle the performance of something like these Titan graphics graphics cards that you may be better off with a faster clocked i7 6700K, which doesn't really come as much as a surprise to me because I remember even on the previous Titan X's that uh, some of the high, higher end eight core extreme processors could kind of bottleneck those cards when you got into like SLI because you're having to shuffle off so many frames, um, the duty onto the CPU that some of the higher end processors are a little bit slower per core, even though they have a lot of cores, that doesn't really help you in terms of this type of game performance that you would want. So you might be better off with the higher clocked quad core if you're going with something like this and you just want pure GPU performance and getting the most frames possible. Our next news story is AMD based and comes from WCCF Tech who have reported that their four gigabyte version of the RX 480 actually has eight gigabytes of video memory on board that could then be unlocked with nothing but a mere BIOS update, which is rather scandalous if you ask me. It's a bit, it's a bit odd. It's like, it's like a reverse of the GTX 970 problem where they, well, they took away half a gigabyte and Nvidia is giving an extra four gigabytes. So it's kind of weird because you're getting like a good thing, but at the same rate, it feels a bit dirty because people are going out and spending $240 on eight gigabyte cards when they could have just bought a $200 four gigabyte card and then unlock the extra four gigabytes themselves. It's, it's, it's a bit scandalous if you ask me. I, I don't know. I, I, I'm kind of at odds about this because, you know, the people that bought them, they're getting something good out of it. They're not getting anything bad, but at the same time, people like me that bought eight gigabyte cards, it feels a little bit, um, you know... A little bit, dis I don't know, a bit devious. So yeah, that's just something I wanted to bring to your guys' attention because I had seen rumors of it back with the review cards that were being sent out having this problem, but now we're seeing in actual retail samples that would suggest that this is present in all of the four gigabyte cards that came out at launch, which there weren't many of. I remember when I went to Micro Center, they only had uh, two of the four gigabyte models and the rest of them were all eight gigabytes. So it seems like they didn't have that many to begin with. Um, but yeah, it looks like the entire initial stock 
of the four gigabyte cards could have this, uh, you know, eight gigabytes actually on the card. So if you bought a four gigabyte card, then you, it might be your lucky day because you could probably do a BIOS update and get eight gigabytes. Although that is very risky doing BIOS updates and stuff like that on a card that doesn't have dual BIOS. So, you know, you're taking, you're taking that into your own hands. If you decide to do that, I'm just reporting on it. Links are going to be down in the description below to WCCF tech, um, for this, as well as VR world for the NVIDIA story. And I'm going to go ahead and get on out of here, guys. Let me know your thoughts on everything. Once again, down in the comments below about the Titan P and the uh, RX 484 gigabyte VRAM issue. I don't know. Can you even call it an issue really if you're getting free video memory? I don't know. I'm, I'm like, I'm really on both sides of the fence with that one. So yeah, I'd be curious to see what you guys have to say, but I'll catch you next time. Tara.